So it looks like Xbox is getting support for AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3.1, an improved version of FSR 3 which offers frame generation and improved image quality. Let's look into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I would like to talk about the latest version of FSR 3. So you know the API that not only improves image quality, just like FSR 2, but also brings uh, frame generation to the table. So you are getting way better performance usually in games that uh, runs at at least 60 frames per second because that's the minimum that a game has to uh, well meet really. Um, AMD doesn't recommend using frame generation for 30 frames per second games so we can forget about like Starfield uh, running at 60 frames per second thanks to frame generation on Xbox unless they do some extra trickery here and there because that affects um, imp um, that latency and that kind of stuff but I'm not here to talk about Starfield and whether or not it's going to be 60 frames per second ever on consoles um, now this version new version of FSR 3 is kind of cool because it brings a couple of interesting things that will uh, improve image quality on, on Xbox right and as you can see from the official slide of here uh, we've got FSR 3.1, which uh, is, well, it brings upscaling improvements, and I'll show you these in a minute, various, various e other fixes. Um, also, Vulkan and Xbox Game Development Kit support. So that's great news, uh, you know, for Xbox Series S and X uh, users and developers. Upscale can now be separated from frame generation and this is very important and I think this is why um, I'm actually quite excited about this version for Xbox because when I reported on the FSR 3 I was like yeah cool um, you know it's it's nice to have that because I think Xbox did offer support for that already uh, for, for a while and even uh, I think uh, Robocop actually got support for FSR 3, but it doesn't really do anything, right? I mean, so I don't know. Uh, apparently, that was just a mistake. Uh, but anyway, um, obviously, frame generation only works when you've got a game running at least at 60 frames per second. I mean, you can try with 30 frames per second a game too, but it's not really going to play well. Um, so... You know, like if you have got a game that runs at 60, I mean, is there, is there really really a lot of in, in incentive to actually, you know, boost it even further, I guess, for shooters. So maybe that will be done in the future for sure. But I think what what is more important about this particular version is that the upscale can be now separated from frame generation, right? Because FSR 3.1 is getting actually much better image quality better than the previous version um, without frame generation so better than uh, fsr 2.2 and most games on xbox and playstation for that matter too using fsr they are using i think 2.1 even or maybe 2.2 some of them right so fsr is a kind of cool especially when you have a, a, a high uh, base resolution so you know that's kind of great but you know the lower you go when it comes to uh, lower uh, the base resolution the more shimmery the image quality becomes right and I've got actually some cool examples over here how will that affect uh, games so like uh, there's some more information on um, on FSR so you can see you know it's just been announced at DG, uh, GDC last week uh, upscaling image quality improvements improved temporal stability and rest at rest and in movement so that's actually great news because FSR actually looks kind of cool when you're not moving but once you start moving then oh it's sometimes it's just bad and I'll show you 
uh, that in a minute. Less flickering and or shimmering and fizziness around objects in motion. Ghosting reduction and better preservation of detail. So that's all great news. Uh, now there's decoupling uh, feature. So allows FSR 3.1 frame generation technology to work with other upscaling solution. Okay, so that's not what I, what I really wanted to talk about. Uh, decoupling, um, meaning that you can just use the better image quality without extra frames, right? So that's great. And I'll show you that there's actually some, uh, you know, quite, um, you know, quite an improvement. Uh, Vulkan and Xbox Game Development Kit support. So, you know, I've talked about it in, uh, already. So the first game that is using FSR 3.1 is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Now, this is obviously the PC version, right? I mean, I don't think there's any... Uh, games on Xbox right now that uses it. I mean, this new feature has been just announced like literally a few days ago. So it will, it will, it will take, take some time before developers will implement it. But if you look at the, um, for example, temporal stability, right? You can see that there's AMD FSR 2.2, which is the most popular right now. And then you've got AMD FSR 3.1 and you can clearly see that there's still a little bit of shimmering here and there, but it's much better, right? And uh, and really like, I think that even some of the colors like looks better, like over here, like, you know, there is a little bit of shimmering here and there still, but like all that, for example, that, that shimmering is gone all that shimmering is almost gone from here. Uh, there's way less shimmering in this part, right? And like, or especially this part, like it's totally gone. And obviously this is a zoom in picture of it, right? Um, I mean, that's not really going to make any difference. So that's, um, this is um, temporal stability improvement, right? And, uh, but also ghosting reduction adds to it. And you can see like a difference between AMD's FSR 2.2 and FSR 3.1. Like look at this moving object, these moving objects, right? Like it's just like it falls apart, right? Like you know, while in the move. And not only that, the, this kind of um, you know the the wheel the wheel kind of uh, part, but um, you know this part here is just like way more stable. It doesn't fall apart, right? And uh, even the crowds look, uh, look better, really, right? So this just goes to show that we are actually looking at a much better version of uh, FSR. Uh, now, I, don't, I still don't think it's going to be any close to DLSS, for example, like the latest one. But I must say that, you know, it's good to see that AMD is actually improving uh, uh, these things, like... For example, Cyberpunk uh, was notorious, uh, still is notorious for ghosting and that kind of stuff. So I really do hope that they will implement um, 3.1 without frame generation or maybe even with, with frame generation because uh, Cyberpunk runs at 60 frames per second on Xbox, really on Xbox Series X and S2, but you know, I don't really e even care about like 120 frames on on uh, Xbox as long as I get 60 and better image quality, right? And you know, you can see there's like a, you know, quite significant difference in image quality both in, you know, in the moving objects but also uh, more static um too. So that's, you know, great news. So listen, guys, uh, that's great news. Um, looking forward um, to see, um, you know, first games. You know, I don't really know any games that have already been confirmed to use that on Xbox, but I'm sure I will cover that on the channel once I uh, hear more about it and once I get my hands on game like that, right? So by the way, and this is not important for this particular video. I'll probably make another one very soon about it. But AMD is also apparently working on some form of machine learning based FSR. 
and uh, I would not be surprised if we hear about it this year and uh, that would be great so I can't wait to hear more about that AMD kind of teased it a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to cover it I was probably busy and stuff so anyway guys that's the video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it and uh, I will see you all in the next one take care